This is it. This, <laughs> this is our is lunch. It. This is it. <laughs> and look at that. But not just any ingredients, pristine. I mean, ingredients that are grown locally and snapper literally fished 100 meters. It doesn't get any better than that. Just fillet that out for me. Gotcha. I'll go and taste this, chef. Look. So what is that? Go at that. That's a cheat Thank you. That's a mix of a grapefruit and an orange. Mm. You know? That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my God. So in the tropics, there's tons of varieties. But being a colony for this long, mm -hmm. you know, you, you kind of have to deal with basically importing things, because that's basically what's, what ends up happening in this type of culture. Sure. Been importing, what, 80% of what we do. Crazy. And now, thankfully, would you see that turning around? How important is that sustainability for you? You know what, for me, as a cook, it means everything. When you stop the importing, you're creating jobs, you're creating passion for the land, you're creating something you're actually educating. It's the only way you're ever going to feed yourself, you know? Without that, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You know, when things happen, like Hurricane Maria, for instance, some people were out of power for six months, seven months. Restaurants had to close, and things get tough. People are hungry, and you're, you're just trying to get whatever you can. Thankfully, after Maria, we've seen this resurgence. Farming came back with a vengeance, and you're nice. starting to see a lot more produce yeah. come in. Amazing. Jose said that Hurricane Maria demolished the island, but it ignited a fire in the resilient Puerto Ricans to take back control. Those colors are beautiful. And start using what the land and sea provide to make the island more self-reliant. Cheers, bud. Salud. Salud. Salud.